Well, to now, here we come. Kaifu creating space. Join us, brothers. Yeah. Join us, Fane. Yeah. In this evolution of the man and what a man is supposed to be. Yeah. We can still kai together, we can still do all the manly things. Yeah. But we can also be open and expressive with our emotions and our feelings as well. Beautiful, brother. So, my, come, come on, come on, come along for the road. Come on to the Moana. Come on, we're in the Moana. <laughs> Chicken soup, it's pea soup, whatever you want to call it. It looks like milk. Milk. That's been sitting in the fridge for a week. <laughs> it's flat. We'll still get a kite, bro. We'll still get a kite. Yeah, my brothers. Kia ora, my bro. Yeah, you too, my bro. Hello, bro. Hello, bro. Nice to meet you. Hello, bro. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Boys are ready. Can you up? Switching to the GoPro mode. Got a pretty in space with the brothers. Wicked. Shot brother Zek. So I get down there and I'm buzzing out because of all of this beautiful fish life. I've never seen weed strings, weed towers like that before. The terrain's all new to me. There's plenty of beautiful eco around blue mookie and butterfish in the distance. The water's not the cleanest, but that, that doesn't matter. It's just, it's amazing to be out here. The boys told me there were plenty of coda in this area, so I didn't waste any time getting down there looking for a few fat coda sitting in some cracks and holes. Sure enough, they were everywhere. The only thing that made things difficult was that my mask was leaking and this is the first time it's leaked in forever. It's over two years old, so I was a bit gutted, but I carried on anyway. Second drop down, and I poke my head in a few holes, uh, and it doesn't take me long to find this beautiful, beautiful coda sitting there. He was in quite a deep hole too, but I just managed to catch his uh, horns before he took off. Uh, this guy, however, I was too slow. I rushed him a little bit, so we got two anyway, and the boys were still on the boat waiting for me, so I thought, that's enough mucking around, I'll get back on there so that they can jump in the water too. Right, our next mission was power and muscles. So the bros dropped us off at a spot that Mike knows pretty well, and we shot over there shallow as like two meters, if that. 
in some places where the power was just abundant. Didn't take us long to get our quota. On my way back to the boat, I found a nice rock with heaps of beautiful mussels on it, beautiful kutai. So I grabbed uh, about 30 odd, 30 to 40 odd, and put them in our bag to bring home. Muscle heaven. After that wicked little experience, we uh, shot back out wide to a spot that was roughly 14, 14 meters, and because the bro Hux wanted to jump in somewhere deeper and go down on his tank and have a look around. Um, while the bro was in the water, I decided to, it was too good of an opportunity not to jump in as well. So I got in there and um, wanted to push my own boundaries and you know push out a little bit further and. The water was dark, dirty, green murk, um, and it always tests your mind when you're dropping down in the green abyss. It really promotes, you know, different parts of you. So this is where I found a, a beautiful opportunity to practice. And this is what I found. there so shot back up to the surface and got back on the boat the bro was already on the boat actually oh. and he dirty. Dirty. as well stones down there brothers yeah hey did you find some reef nah yeah. bugger all eh? it's just stones and sand dirty. brother michael decided to stay on the boat and he dropped us in on a nice pin that came up out of 18 meters uh, this is my first drop down there and this is what I found. Yep, it was the absolute honey hole of Coda and I was just blown away. Wow. I'd never seen that just many Coda in one hole before. And like, not to mention them all being of legal size and upward. So that was an absolute buzz for me, Fano, And I was just real stoked. Had my little breathe up on the surface there and headed back down to try and find that hole again. I wasn't sure if I was going to find it because, yeah, I had no marker. But I managed to come across another crack or crevice that was nice and shallow and all of these beautiful coda just sitting in there. Um, I tried to pick out the two biggest ones and managed to wriggle them out of their holes and bring them back up to the peak. Shallow ass brother. So the three boys were also in the moana with their tanks and uh, I was on the surface breathing up and I saw a whole load of bubbles coming up underneath me from where I was diving and I thought uh, why not go down and, and say hello to the bro while he's down there on his tank. Yeah, 
it was good to catch up with the boys and have a bit of a laugh. Back into the mahi and I'm back down there looking for kaura. I, I sort of start off on the top of the pin and come across that beautiful, beautiful kaura just sitting there in that crack. I look over the edge and look at all these blooming kaura just everywhere. My eyeballs are as big as golf balls and my heart's going a million miles an hour running out of breath because I can't bloody contain my excitement and yeah. We have timed this dive as well in accordance with uh, the moon. At this stage, the moon is in Tangaroa moon phase, so kai gathering in the moana fishing is, is all healthy and all abundant. On my next drop, I actually marked uh, the hole with my gun to the side so I could find it again. And I got down there and I found a few kaurau sitting in the cracks. I'd already been through here before, so they were sort of tucked away. So I went and hunting a little bit more, found this easy one just sitting there in the hole. And then I found this one just tucked right up there, uh, just in a shallow ass hole. And it was just just like that, just grabbed them, two coder coming into the bag. So that was my limit. I had my limit of coder and I had no doubt the other boys were going to find their limit too. Um, I saw one of the bros had already jumped that back up on the boat and we had actually only been in there for about 15 minutes. So got back on the boat and had a good catch up and a laugh with the boys after. Bro, <laughs> unreal eh? Just unreal. Oh, right. I will bro. Yeah, that, after I seen you, I think, yeah, that's going to be some crap, Yeah, brother. Work a little fishing. Cheer, brother. Hey, Wicked day. Wicked day. Cheer, brother. Cheer, Cheer brother. brother. Oh, let's get let's get some of this kinna oh, action on there. Oh, the brown lofty bit. Oh, look Ooh. at that. They're gonna be creamy. <laughs> I'll just pull one out, okay? And um, finish out. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Woo! Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's sweet, that's right. mm. Got a bit of a tang to them. A little tang, yeah, that's beautiful. That's no, that's good, bro. Oh, oh cream. Oh, that's a <laughs> thing. Do you want out, guys? Two Mickey. Beautiful day, Fano. We gathered a heap of pie <laughs> with. A heap of power with the lads mm. for creating space, mm. and um, it's been a blessing to catch up with the brother, mm. the brother Huxley, the brother Zach, yeah, Roger, Joey, Joey. <laughs> what a day, boys! Yeah, it was a wicked day, brothers. Kai for creating space. Yeah. Boom. Awesome,